If you're looking for cheap and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description for FIFA Coin Zone. They're selling for £3 per 100k on the Xbox at the moment and at £3 per 100k on the PlayStation. Use the code JOSH5 to get 5% off. What's up, lads? Josh here, and welcome back to another episode of FIFA 15 January Done Deals. Today, we're going to be talking about eight more recently transferred players, and uh, the biggest ones for today are going to be Taiwo and Yukonan. It's not the best of days for transfers, but you know, there's still eight a decent enough players to cover that you guys might want to know which transfers are happening. So, we're going to get straight into episode nine of January Done Deals. Okay guys, so talking about the first transfer that's going to happen today, and it is going to be Taiwo, who has left uh, his Turkish league side, and he has just joined Lazia Warsaw, uh, like I said, uh, somebody else joined from them the other day, uh, I think it was the Christian Belek, or the Belek guy from Arsenal, uh, of course he left there, and now Taiwo has just gone out on a trial. Now this is a really weird one, because you don't really see trials in football nowadays, you know, in modern day football you don't normally see uh, trials, especially that last this long. Long. Taiwo has just gone out to Legia, I think I'm just going to call it that, um, for a trial, and that is until the end of the season. Uh, you know, this is like a five, six month trial, so I've really never actually seen this in football, and I don't really understand the difference between a trial and a loan. The only thing that I thought that was different was be, you know, like you could loan, you could trial a player for like a week or two to see, you know, how he is in training and, you know, obviously how he plays in the two or three games, so you don't invest too much money in him, and then of course if he's just a complete flop, uh, that trial was the perfect thing for him, but Taiwo has just gone out on a five or six month loan, uh, no sorry, uh, trial deal to Legia. Okay, so moving on to the next transfer, we're going to be talking about a bronze player, and I actually, th I actually think this is the first bronze player I've actually covered in this whole series, and today it is going to be Martin Patterson, an ex-home Scunthorpe, well, I actually am from Scunthorpe, and he, you know, he actually used to play for Scunthorpe, and he used to bang tons of goals in, and I think he was only on loan for us, or he may have signed full, uh, full time, but, you know, that was where his career really started booming, he scored like 20 goals in that first season, and then unfortunately he did uh, move away to, I think it was Burnley, when they were still in the championship, and then his career has just gone downhill since then but he has just signed a lot for Orlando uh, just until the end of the season to try and get some more game time I'm assuming and a lot of people were uh, like moaning about me yesterday saying Maloney was going you know to MLS for money and you know to sort of start his retirement phase Martin Patterson is only like 27 years old so he's obviously still got a lot of years ahead of him whereas Steven Gerrard, Beckham, Thierry Henry, Maloney are all were, were all like 30 plus when they signed for the MLS or officially joined uh, an MLS side so as you can see there you know, there's some some people do actually go for money, and then some obviously just go to uh, to try and pick up some farm and get some game time again. And moving on to the third transfer, guys, we're going to be talking a quick bit about Hurd, and of course he has just left Aston Villa for a season-long loan deal, well, to the end of the season, basically, um, uh, to Wigan, and it seems like Wigan are really in a bit of a pickle at the moment, and they're trying to bring in a few more experienced players from the Barclays Premier League, and obviously trying to bolster up their team, trying to, you know, obviously just try and stay in the Championship this season, they really are not doing too well, I think they're like 16th at the moment, they're, you know, they're getting a little bit better of recent form with Marky Mackay as, you know, their manager, but, um, I still think they do need a few more signings in order to guarantee their safety in the championship this year. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly add on, I've just realised they're actually 23rd, so this signing is even more crucial than I thought it was. So yeah, they're bringing in a new defender to try and obviously, to try and secure their place in the championship this year. And moving on to the next transfer guys, we're going to be talking about Adam Lafondre and he has just signed from Cardiff City to Bolton and it is just a, a loan deal till the end of the season of course. Uh, we're seeing a lot of these loan deals this episode, I mean, most it's probably like the most recurring theme that we've ever seen throughout all of these nine episodes. So many loan deals going on and of course there is another one to talk about with Adam Lafondre. So uh, Adam Lafondre just signed for Bolton until the end of the season and this is uh, Bolton's third January striker that they have just uh, sort of signed. Uh, they've signed Idea Gajan of course they've signed Emil Heskey and now they've just signed Adam Lafondre so I'm, I'm assuming they're trying to you know obviously start bringing in some players that are going to start scoring goals and to keep them in the championship at the moment they, I think they're 16th at the moment so obviously they are really close to relegation zone and of course they want to secure that sort of mid table uh, you know mid table position and you know probably till the end of the season I can imagine they can do so as well uh, I think they're much better than that you know the bottom four slash six and moving on to the next player guys, we're going to be talking about Jada and of course he has just left Benfica for Olympiacos and this is going to cost about 1.32 million pounds and I can't say much about this player, obviously I haven't seen a lot of Benfica this season nor have I seen much of Jada, in fact if anything at all I cannot remember seeing this guy play at all in real life so nothing much I can say about this transfer other than he will now be playing for Olympiacos and he has just signed for them for 1.3 million. 
And on to the next transfer, guys. We're going to be talking about Didier Yaconen. And, of course, he literally just left last season from uh, Hanover 96 to Il Al Itihad. I think his, the, the team's name is, of course, in the Saudi Arabian League. And uh, he's obviously not liking it there. And he's literally just signed back for uh, Hanover 96. But this one is just until the end of the season. And, of course, there is actually an extra option to loan him for another season after this. So uh, he's obviously going on loan to the end of the season right now. And then after he is done uh, with the end of the season, of course, they will have an option to loan him again for an extra 12 months or a aka another season so uh, Didier Conan is back at Hanover 96 now and moving on to the next transfer guys we're going to be talking about Ngoi like I said I've actually never actually heard of this player so I can't really say too much about him but um, because he's a Leeds United uh, signing I guess I kind of have to cover him a lot of people are Leeds fans and uh, a lot of people do actually like to you know obviously keep track on Leeds United signings because they feel they feel like they need a lot of them to you know obviously grant their their safety in the championship and they're not doing specifically that well this season and of course more signings are obviously going to try and to you know are obviously for that bit, uh, purpose uh, is to try and keep them in the championship but uh, Ngoi just signed from Palermo another Palermo player they so signed Sol Bamba uh, on loan uh, was it yesterday I think it was yesterday actually uh, on yesterday's episode they I, I covered him and they've just signed another Palermo player in in Ngoi and like I said never heard of him so I can't really say too much about him but he, uh, yeah he's just signed for Leeds United until the end of the season on loan and moving on to the next transfer, guys, we're going to be talking about Vestergaard, and he has just signed for Werder Bremen from Hoffenheim, and of course, uh, there's not much I can say about this transfer. Once again, he just he just looks like an incredibly slow player, but looks like he's got some incredibly good defensive stats, so like I said, I can't really judge him, uh, you know, in terms of in, re in his real-life performance. Um, whether you know compared to his FIFA card because that was that's just bloody stupid knowledge and uh, it's pretty stupid to do that but like I said not really seen much of this guy if anything at all but he's just signed for Werder Bremen for 2.2 million pounds and obviously they feel like the you know he's obviously worth the money Anyways guys, hopefully you did enjoy this episode of January Done Deals. It's been a bit of a slow transfer day and of course they're not the biggest transfers to talk about today but I just wanted to keep you guys updated with the transfer window every single day or you know every single 7 or 8 players that do get transferred. I want to make sure you guys know about it and that is what this, se uh, that is what this series is all about. Keeping you guys updated with the January transfer window. But this has been episode 9 of January Done Deals. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Do be sure to leave a like right and if you did, if we could hit 250 likes again that would be absolutely superb and we've got four days left of the transfer window now so that we should expect some pretty big transfers to happen and you you can guarantee you can goddamn guarantee that i will cover them at the, to my bestest ability so thank you guys for watching another episode of january done deals if you did enjoy it leave a like rate and subscribe to my channel if you're new and follow me on twitter at and i4 and apart from that guys i'll see you guys tomorrow peace